All right, everyone. Here it is, the new trailer for Bowser's Fury, uh, Super Mario 3D World. I have not watched it yet. It looks like it's 2 minutes and 16 seconds long. I'm going to kind of react to it as we go here the first time through, and then I'm going to stop and have a, a, a little bit deeper discussion after the fact uh, about what my thoughts are on this new content uh, and Nintendo's approach to bringing Wii U games to Nintendo Switch. Now, before I really dive into this, hey, we're giving away a PlayStation 5, a Nintendo Switch, or an Xbox Series X. Go down to the description or to the pinned comment for more information on that. Uh, the winner will be announced in a live stream at the end of the month. If we hit 70,000 subscribers this month, I'll give away two systems instead of one. All right, let's get into this right now. Very curious about that. Definitely new, new level. Okay. Oh yeah, I like this. I like that. Look at that level. Okay. I see. I'm wondering how many new levels are. Ooh, I like that. Are we just straight forward? Mar are, we, are we Mario Sunshine in this game now? What's up with the cat uh, star? What? Oh, there's Bowser. He does not look happy. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty sweet. I don't know how many new stages there is in the fucking new level. This is like a Godzilla! Godzilla! <laughs> Alright! Available obviously February 12th. Alright, let's uh let's uh talk about this. So obviously, uh that was interesting to me. That that was uh I guess some parts of what I expected, some parts of not. It, it obviously just showed all new content. Uh, that was, you know, pretty good. I, I think I saw three or four different stages. Uh, so that's nice. I don't know how many there's going to be. I'd love for there to be like a whole new world where you have like 12 stages minimum, especially since, you know, they are charging 60 bucks for this game. Wii U port. It would be nice to see a bevy of new content. But I will say that final Bowser fight, or I, I assume that's the final fight. I don't know. Looks sick as hell. Now, I don't know about the whole Godzilla aspect they're clearly teasing there not sure how that plays out it could just be like a normal mario fight against bowser except you're just massive and destroying things like in godzilla but i don't know i think it looks really really cool uh i i, I like some of the level designs they had there and i think in general when we're talking about uh this game and the new content i think two things need to be said one not that many people played Super Mario 3D World because it was on Wii U. And I think this is to be said about all Wii U ports. And Nintendo's number one justification for charging 60 bucks again is because nobody played them the first time around. So because nobody played them the first time around, it's like a brand new game for most Switch owners. Super Mario 3D World is going to sell extremely well on Switch. And there's going to be a lot of people who bought Odyssey, who uh, got Mario Maker 2, that are going to look at this as... Hey, this is a new Mario game to them. It's not, but they will view it that way. And I think it's going to sell incredibly well. I would not be shocked to see this game top 10 million in sales, which is insane to talk about when we are talking about Mario, where the last Mario Party game sold 12 million. So 
who are we to say that this candidate? It's probably going to at least outsell uh, Paper Mario, the last Paper Mario game. That being said, I got to say, I like that they're adding new content. I wish they did this for every port, but did it in a more significant way. As an example, Pikmin 3 Deluxe, they added the Captain Olimar levels, but I got to say, it just didn't feel that fantastic. I would have preferred like actual add-on DLC that extended the actual end of the game out because Pikmin 3 was already a pretty short game. And they didn't do that. Now, they did do some awesome stuff with Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. That Tor uh, Torna? No, not, maybe that was Xenoblade Chronicles. Anyway, they did add all new content in Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition that kind of, you know, fed the games into each other between Xenoblade Chronicles and Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And that was fantastic. And that's what I'm hoping this is. Although, it doesn't really need to feed into a new game. I just want it to be that breath and um, that sheer amount of new content like the Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. So I I gotta say, I'm happy with what they showed. Uh, I thought, you know what, let's watch that trailer one more time just to be see, see if a second time through uh, changes anything because, you know, there, there's always things that, that occur uh, that maybe you don't catch the first time around. So let's, let's, let's go ahead and take a look uh, one more time. Uh, let's back this train up to the beginning. Here we go. All right, so I, I didn't notice. Um, so one thing I didn't notice at first was up here, this uh, uh, what what do they call that? A lighthouse. I didn't notice that lighthouse the first time. Now we know this bell temporarily it looks like this, but then later turns into the, obviously the bell you can get big in. Um, all right, so let's let's go. Ahead. I don't know what these are. Oh, it's just an architecture choice. Um, what's Bowser Jr. What's that Bowser Jr. is helping you? So Bowser Jr. is helping you as a sidekick. God, that's super easy. He's got that paintbrush like Super Mario Sunshine. Clearly taking inspiration. Back this up. Yeah, see those other. See, look at those little cats! Look at those little cats! Oh, it's so cute. Alright, give me that. I mean, this, this, this stage here looks cool. This is like a whole stage, right? It has to be. It's pretty cool. I'm glad to see a stage where we can ride. Alright, so let's Just kind of taking a look around the stage. Now, you can kind of see Bowser sort of looming here. In the background, you might not know it's Bowser yet at this point in the game if it wasn't for this trailer. And here's the new star coin. Let me block for a second. That player, I wonder if that's a second player. That could be player two. Remember, this is a, a game that you can have multiple people play, so I wonder if that's a player two character. And I, I mean, that's cool. That's that's straight up out of uh, <laughs> out of uh, Mario Sunshine. See there, that, see, there is the star coin, the new one, but it's cat shaped. I don't. Interesting. I wonder what the purpose is of making it cat shaped this time. I know cat suit was like the big thing, but they didn't do that to the coins. I didn't do it to the stars. So. In the original. And then here's Bowser. We're about to look B A as F. It's literally, this gives me, like, uh, what's his name? From Skyward Sword, the bad guy in there. You guys know who I'm talking about, right? Demise. Like, you have the red kind of fiery hair going on. Not exactly fire like it is uh, for Demise, but it gives you that vibe, you know? You have the, the, the dark, you know, molten-type spikes and the fire breath coming out. It just feels like a Demise-style uh, character. But we have no Bowser. Drop it up. Drop it Oh, 
shiny, like I have star power. I really hope... So I hope when you get this, that it actually lets you do a Godzilla-style fight. And that it's not just, oh, it's a cutscene where you take out Bowser now because you got the giant bell. I mean, I don't put it past Nintendo to do that. <laughs> pretty cool it, it, oh and then you have this art obviously that bowser's fury art looks sick looks sick it'll probably part it'll partially probably be in my thumbnail to be completely honest in fact i might just make it my thumbnail <laughs> oh that's sick i love it i love it all right all right that was that was good can, can, can we all agree that was pretty good uh, second time around was almost better than the first, seeing some of the little details. I don't know, you guys let me know what you think about this time in the comments below. Did Nintendo do enough for you to buy Super Mario 3D World? That's what the question is for this video. All right, folks, be sure to enter that giveaway. Subscribe if you enjoy the content. Hit the bell icon, of course, if you want to be updated on all of my videos, get notifications and all that jazz. Comment down below and let me know what you think, and I'll catch you in the next video.